we're starting a brand new way of teaching at the feast. We're starting something exciting. God is birthing a whole new generation of people who will hunger to follow the word. By book, verse by verse, chapter by chapter, story by story, we're going to sit at the master's feet with total humility and allow the text as divinely inspired to speak to our hearts. Get ready because we're going to start this journey of longing and really understanding God and His Word for you. Good day, Feast at Home. How are you all doing today? We hope that wherever you're watching this feast or wherever you're watching this stream, we hope that you are safe, that you're comfortable, and that you're cozy, okay? And so right now, we'd like to welcome as well those who came here for the first time, those who are watching us for the first time. We'd like to know if you're a first-timer, kindly comment down below. Kindly let us know that it's your first time so that we could all welcome you in this whole family and community that we have. So right now, just to lighten up the mood, we'd like to know as well and ask you, what is or what are the items that are currently in your add to cart list, in your sh online shopping lists? For me, it's uh, it's a Bluetooth transmitter um, because I cur I'm currently having problems with my cell phone. Um, whenever I would connect an, aux uh, an auxiliary cord to it, uh, it, it somehow malfunctions from time to time. So that's why I need a new Bluetooth transmit transmitter. And so, what are what are those items that are currently in your online shopping list, that are currently in your add to cart list? Kindly let us know by commenting down below so that we could all share and we could all have our laughs about it as well. <laughs> so, you know, right now, we're currently waiting for MECQ to end, yes? And maybe for some of you, maybe for many of you, um, your hope is starting to fade, your hope is slowly starting to... To fade, uh, to fade because maybe you're now wondering if the old normal that we used to know and love would still be coming back would we experience it once again when when are we gonna experience it and maybe your hope for that is slowly just fading away maybe you're you're becoming hopeless right now maybe you feel restless you feel helpless but right now i'd like you to know i'd like to remind you of a bible verse uh, from john chapter 8 verse 12 it says that when god spoke to his people once again he said that i am the light of the world that whoever walks with me will never walk in darkness and will walk with the light of life so let that verse be a reminder that in this darkness that we're currently experiencing right now that we have a god that is the light of the world who is walking with us and is, uh, and is in us as well. So let that, be a, uh, let that verse be a reminder that you're not alone, you're not helpless, you're not restless because God is doing something for you. God is allowing you to hope once again today. So if you're ready to hope once again today and experience His glory and His miracles today, I'd like, I would like to invite you to make the sign of faith in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sing it all. Generations getting louder over time. Every 
son and every daughter Sing it out into the night It's not time to be silent Don't you dare hide your line There's a world outside your window So don't let it pass you by Lift your hands to the heavens Lift your voice to the sky Praise the Lord of all creation Let His name be lifted I Sing it Singing Jesus, I believe It's not time to be silent Don't you dare hide your light There's a world outside your window So don't let it pass you by Lift your hands to the heavens Lift your voice to the sky Praise the Lord of all creation Let His name Hello everybody, welcome to another session of Feast at Home. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good midnight, kung anong oras mo man pinapanood itong video na ito. Once again, we are back here at the Feast. And before we begin with our talk today, let me ask you this question. Who are you watching with right now? Sino ang kasama mo? Meron ka bang kasama? Asawa, anak, pamilya, katrabaho, um, kapatid? Hindi ko alam sino kasama mo. And can you just type in below sino kasama mo? Kasi naniniwala ako dito eh. There is power in togetherness. And the Word of God says, Where two or three are gathered in my name, there is picture taking. Ay, hindi, parang mali pala yun. Hindi pala. There I am in their midst. And the beautiful thing about it is this. 
even if you are watching alone there at home, you are not alone because you are with us here. Marami tayo sabay-sabay nanonood nitong Feast at Home. And I hope that you will enjoy this talk, you will learn a lot, and I hope that God will speak to you today. Amen? We are still at our series entitled Best Preaching Ever, Discovering Our Path to Heaven. And our talk today, nasa talk 70 na tayo, it is entitled Selflessness is the Best Way to Love Yourself. Grabe, no? Mahal mo ba ang sarili mo? Ayan, titingnan natin. How is Jesus, how would Jesus, uh, how is He going to explain to us Itong, itong babasahin natin na Bible verse ngayon. But before we jump into our talk, let's pray our favorite prayer here at the feast. Together, let's make the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lift your hands and pray this with me. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings healing and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's Word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let's honor God's Word. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Brothers and sisters, we are now almost at the end of the Sermon on the Mount found in Matthew 5, 6, and 7. But before I read our word for today, before I dissect our key passage, I'll try to summarize first the first 16 talks nitong, nitong series na ito. I know it's quite impossible, but I'll try to do my best to squeeze it in in three minutes. Are you ready? So, nandito pa rin tayo sa Sermon on the Mount. And itong Sermon on the Mount na ito, actually, it can be divided into three sections. Tatlo. Section 1 is all about who are invited to His kingdom. Section 2, how we are to love others. And section 3, how we are to love God. Let let me begin with section 1, who are invited in God's kingdom. You see, in the Sermon of the Mount, Jesus said He was building His new kingdom, yung kanyang bagong kaharian. At ang unang-una niyang sinabi is in-announce niya kung sino ang imbitado, sino ang guest list sa, sa who ng kanyang kingdom. Sino ba ang imbitado? And, you see, he started at the Sermon on the Mount with the Beatitudes. And, the Beatitudes was actually God's guest list para makapasok ka sa kaya, kanyang kaharian. And, sa Beatitudes, Jesus also proclaimed, so many blessed are the blank blank. Sabi niya doon, blessed are the poor in spirit. And he also said, blessed are the those who mourn. And he also said, blessed are those who are suffering from injustice and hunger for God's justice, etc., etc. Plus five more statements like that. You you know what, what I'm talking about. You have heard the Beatitudes and you have been with us for the past few weeks. And itong mga sinabi ni Lord na blessed, 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 blessed are the blank, it was quite radical and unusual. Why? Because Jesus was calling the poor the sick, the outcast, the broken, and the scum of the society. Itong mga nasa, quote-unquote, laylayan. Yung mga talagang nasa baba talaga. Tinawag niya itong mga taong ito to be the VIPs of His kingdom. Because in God's heart, these poor people, they were His VIPs. Very important person. And these outcasts, Jesus said, if they choose to follow Him, they would become the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Grabe, no? Sila pa. Kung sino yung nasa baba, sila pa yung gagamitin daw ng Diyos para ipalaganap ang kanyang kaharian. But, as you're watching right now, you might be asking, pero bro, paano naman ako? Eh, hindi naman ako talaga mahirap. In fact, I am upper middle class. And I'm not broken. Well, good for you. Pero ito, kung yan ang sentimiento mo, parang feeling mo, ang ganda-ganda na nangyayari sa buhay mo, ito ang tanong ko sa'yo. Are you sure you are not poor? Are you sure you are not broken? Because here's the truth. We are all 
broken. We are all poor in some way. Maybe not materially. Pero merong iba't ibang area ng buhay natin, ng puso natin, na, 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 na kulang, kulang, at may nangangailangan tayo. Because here's the truth. We all need Jesus. Click Amen if you agree with me on that. We all need Jesus. Kahit sino ka pa, kahit gaano ka kayaman, kahit gaano ka katanyag, kahit gaano ka ka-okay yung buhay mo, we all need Jesus. That's the first section. And Jesus moved on. And once Jesus clarified the who are invited in His kingdom, now is clarifying to us how should we act in His kingdom. Paano ba natin sa susundan? How should we live in His kingdom? Which brings us to the next two sections. Section 2 talks about how should we love others. Ang tanong ko sa inyo ito, are you a Jesus follower? If yes, sabi ni Jesus, we just don't follow the law of Moses. We fulfill it. And how do we fulfill it? Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount, uh, and He mentioned six ways on how we should fulfill the laws of Moses. First, He said, we don't give into sinful anger. Wala namang masamang magalit, pero kailangan iayon mo yung response mo sa galit mo. Because kapag ka sinful yung anger mo, that's equivalent to murder. Second thing, Jesus said, we don't entertain lustful thoughts. Bakit? Because the mere fact that you are entertaining your lustful thoughts, that's like adultery. You see, he's raising the bar here. And then later on, thirdly, he said, we uphold and protect marriage to the highest levels. Ayan, di ba? Importante yan para kay Jesus. And fourth, he talked about speaking and living in the truth. Then, next talk five, it says here, we never retaliate or take revenge. And lastly, we should love everyone. At ito, at ito, mabigat, including our enemies. Love our enemies. Because Jesus is teaching us how we should love others in His kingdom. He was teaching us how can we be like Him who actually is very merciful and very loving and very compassionate. Then, that's section 2. Then, Jesus moved on to the next part, which teaches us how we should love God. Nakita niyo yun, love others and love God. Ito. Once again, tatanungin ko ulit kayo, are you a Jesus follower? If yes, then Jesus said we should do these six things. Number one, He says, we do religious stuff not to be praised, but to praise God. Ayan, hindi para sa atin, but for God's glory. And then He teaches us that we should pray to the Father your kingdom come, making, hev- making heaven, sorry, bringing down heaven here on earth. And then he said we should reject material, materialism and treasure God above all things. He said that in Matthew 6, 19 to 24. And then fourthly, he said we should not worry because we trust that, we, we trust that God is our provider. He said that in Matthew 6, 25 to 34 naman. And then, sabi niya, we should not judge others because God is our judge. Sinabi niya yan sa Matthew 7, 1 to 6. And then last week, ito yung pinag-usapan natin. It's all about asking, seeking, and knocking. Katuloy lang natin gagawin because we believe that we have a generous God. That's how Jesus would like us to act in His kingdom. We should love others and we should love God. And today... And next week, here's the interesting part. We will talk about how Jesus concluded this Sermon on the Mount. And nakakagulat ito. This is amazing and fascinating. And dito kayo magugulat. Why? Because ngayong araw na ito, we will just read one verse. You, na-surprise ka ba? Why? Because Jesus is doing something different, mind-blowing. He gave us just one sentence Isa lang. Twelve words lang in English that captured all the 613 laws of Moses. Grabe, no? Kakaiba. Do you want to know what it is? Let's read our passage for today. It's from Matthew 7, verse 12. I want you to read this with me. Do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. 
This is the essence of all that is taught in the law and the prophets. Let me repeat once again, since one verse lang naman. Do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. This is the essence of all that is taught in the law and the prophets. Hmm. Ihimayin natin yung word na yan for today. And I let my brother builders do that. But for now, can I invite you into prayer? Close your eyes, bow down your heads, put your hands over your heart, and repeat this prayer after me. Jesus, teach me to love myself the way you love me, so that I will know how to love others. Give me your mercy, humility, compassion, and your selflessness. This I pray in your name. Amen. Let's honor God's word. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Before I get turn you over to my brother builders, let me give you some important announcements before we move on. First and foremost, kamusta kayo? I know you are being blessed by Feast at Home. And alam nyo, ang daming nagme-message sa akin sa social media telling me, thank you, Brother Velden, for doing Feast at Home. Blessed na blessed kami. We get to have spiritual nourishment every single week. We really need Jesus, especially on the, in, during these trying times. At alam nyo, tuwang-tuwa ako pag nakakareceive ako ng message na yon Because I know a lot of people are being blessed, including you, because of what we are doing here at the Feast at Home. And I'd like to personally thank all the servants who are behind this this production, this online production. Hindi po madali gawin itong online feast. But we need to do this because we want to be salt and light of the earth. We want to be the bearers of God's love and God's good news here in this world. And you see, the mere fact that you are watching this online feast at home... It's because you are generous. It's because of people like you and me who continue to give to the to the kingdom, who continue to give generously to the feast. And I just like I would just like to thank each and every one of you for continuously being generous. You are pag tayo ay nagtatayf, pag tayo nagbibigay, hindi lang kayo ang pinagpapala ng Dios. Hindi lang tayo eh. Pinagpapala yung iba na natutulungan natin because of what we are doing. So I'd like to thank you for supporting our ministry. Please continue giving generously. And if you wish to give today, you can send your tithes or love offering via so many ways. First, via credit card or PayPal. How do you do that? You can go to our website at feastalabang.com slash give and click donate. Or you can deposit through East West Bank. The account number is now flashed on your screens. If kung meron kayong East West Bank, that's good. If not, kung meron kayong BDO, BDO account, you can also give through our account number flashed on the screen. And lastly, kung if you'd like the convenience of GCash or online transfer, just please go, uh, just please go to our Feast Alabang website and follow the instructions there. Amen? Again, maraming maraming salamat po. You are blessing a lot of people because of your generosity. Amen? Now, you might be you might be wanting to to connect with us. We may not be seeing each other face to face, but we want to care for you. We want to connect with you. We want to pray for you. That's why on your screen right now, we will be flashing the connect link. Para sa nitong link na ito. For our first time viewers, if this is your first time to watch Feast at Home, we want you we want to welcome you. And just click on the link below. Tell us if you're a first timer. And then, if you have prayer requests, let our intercessory ministry pray with you and for you. Pagdarasal po namin kayo, meron din pong option nandyan. And if you want to be part of a light group, a small group, sharing about God's Word and our experiences and our learnings here at the Feast, you can also sign up 
through this link. I highly recommend that because I believe the feast is not enough. You need to be part of a small group. You need to experience God's love through others. And it's quite easy to remember. What is our Feast at Home Connect link? It's bit.ly slash feast at home. Again, that's bit.ly slash feast at home. Ayan. We would like to connect with you. Another thing. Have you subscribed to our Feast YouTube channels yet? If not, please subscribe to your respective Feast YouTube channels. And we are also live, by the way. Kung nanonood kayo ngayon sa Facebook, live din tayo sa, sa YouTube. At kung nanonood kayo naman sa YouTube, live din tayo sa Facebook. But if you have subscribed in our Feast YouTube, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notified every time we go live here at the Feast. Another thing, second to the last, is this. Gracious Living Ministry is inviting you to an event. You see, we have always had webinars about adjusting in the new normal. Pero ito ang tanong, para sa mga senior citizens, how do we age gracefully in this new normal? Ayan, that's why gusto ko kayong invite, especially our attendees who are already graced with grandchildren, senior citizens, double citizenship na, but still young at heart, to our upcoming event entitled, Gracious Living in the New Normal. New hope, new joy. Kailan yan mangyayari? This will be on August 21, 3 o'clock p.m. At sino ang preacher? Our very own Brother Jay Yogawin. Hindi pa naman siya gracious living, pero baggets pa yan. Pero he will give us powerful insights about how to age gracefully. We will be tackling about coping with stress and anxiety in the new normal, especially for those who are in that age bracket. Again, I'd like to invite you and you can register through the following numbers flashed on your screens right now. We'd like to see you there. Last but not the least, ito ah, please, ito ah, kung meron kayo announcement na huwag niyong kakalimutan, ito yun ah. Please, do not miss, miss, do not miss Feast at Home on August 30. Again, August 30. Bakit? Because we are going to celebrate our 11th year anniversary. Yes, Feast Alabang. Nasa 11th year na po ang ating distrito. So I'd like you to be present there. Please bring a friend. Please bring a family member. Bring, bring your dog with you. And celebrate with us. The more, the merrier. Ay, hindi pala. The more, the merrier. Let's celebrate. And our theme for this year is all together. Sama-sama tayong manood at mag-feast at on August 30. Amen? Now, I'm done with my announcements. I know you are excited on how do we dissect this key passage that we have read today. I now turn you over to our brother builders. Do. Do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. I'm sure you've heard this in school before. Your teacher called it the golden rule. Naalala nyo ba? Sige nga, kung may naalala kayo mga quotes na tinuro ng teacher nyo, pakitype nga sa comment. Sige na, i-chat nyo. Sabihin nyo yung mga naalala nyo sa teachers ninyo, ha? Like, cleanliness is next to godliness. Naalala nyo yon. Ano pa? Ano pang mga quotes ang sinabi ng teacher mo sa'yo? I-type mo. Naalala ko, Sa tinuro din to eh. Yung alam nyo to, yung God knows who does not pay. Alam nyo yun eh. Ano pa? Basta driver, sweet lover. ba Ay, hindi ba sa school yun? Sa, sa jeep? Okay. You know, you will find the gold, golden rule in various religions and cultures. Grabe kung saan saan. Ancient Egypt, Persia. You will find it in Buddhism, in Taoism, in Hinduism. And it is written in various formats. Pero pagpansin niyo yung golden rule represented by in a positive form and a negative form. And if you do a little research, you will see that most of them, at least in the ancient times, appeared in its negative form. Remember, do not do to others what you would not 
like them to do to you. Si Confucius, ah, hindi siya na-confuse. Pero yun ang sinabi niya. What you do not wish for yourself, do not do to others. Mahabarata, the literature, Indian literature, 500 years before Jesus says, one should never do something to others that one would regard as an injury to one's own self. There is an ancient Persian proverb that said, whatever is this agreeable to yourself, do not do unto others. Negative form of the golden rule yan. It is useful. Bakit? Kasi yan ang barest minimum standard so that our world will continue to live. Barest minimum. Pero ang minimum standard ba, okay na ba sa'yo? Para maging tao ka? Does it make you fulfill your highest potential? No. Does it make you happy? I don't think so. Alimbawa, killing, pagpatay. Sabi, huwag kang papatay. Uh, ako, feeling ko, that's one of the worst definitions of a human being. ba? Diba? Pag tinanong ka, bakit mo sinasabing tao ka? Kasi ho, hindi pa ako pumapatay. Kaya tao ka. Can you imagine a single lady who is praying to God for a future husband? Will, will she pray like this? Lord, give me a man who is tall, dark and handsome like Brother Arun. At kung pwede, Lord, sana yung hindi pa nakapatay. Talaga. You know, human beings are so much better than this. The golden rule in its positive form elevates humanity to our highest potential. So what do we do? I want you to follow this. Do unto others. Then run. No, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no. You know, our big mistake is this. We avoided the sense of commission, but not the sense of omission. Just because we don't kill or steal or lie or cheat makes us truly human. Look around you. Tingnan nyo. Ang dami yung taong nagihirap sa panahon ngayon. Kaya lang minsan, di natin sila dinaramdam, nararamdaman. Bakit? Because we are so self-absorbed. We are lost in our little world at home. We are centered on our own needs, wants, hurts, plans. Ito, ako ang suggestion ko lang. Bago kayo matulog, huwag niyo pong tanungin to sa sarili niyo ha. Please do not ask, have I not killed anyone today? Huwag niyong tatanungin yan. Meron ba akong pinatay ngayon? Maling tanong, ang dapat tanong niyo, have I given life to someone today? Please do not ask, have I not hurt anyone today? Dapat ang tanong, have I helped someone today? Yan ang tamang tanong. Have I blessed someone today? Not, have I cursed someone today? Before I continue, I need to point out a very important thing. You know, the statement we're studying today, do to others whatever you would like them to do to you, is actually a rephrasing of the second greatest commandment. And what is that? Love your neighbor? As yourself. And both statements can be broken into two parts. What is that? Love your neighbor as yourself. Do to others. Diba? Yan yun eh. Love your neighbor is do to others. Part two is what you want others to do to you. As yourself. So let me talk about part one. Do to others. Naalala niyo yung audience ni Jesus? Sino yung audience niya? The VIP guest list. In the Sermon on the Mount, they are all suffering people, the poor. And while Jesus was saying this, she was he was practicing what he was preaching. Jesus was practicing what he was preaching. He felt their pain, their hunger, their hopelessness. Jesus saw through their eyes and he loved them, served them, embraced them and called them his family. Alam niyo, mga psychologists, sasabihin sa inyo, ang isang mark ng isang emotional, mature person is empathy. What is empathy? Yan. Empathy at its core is this. Immaturity is an eye problem. 
pag tinignan mo yung empathy, makikita mo doon na may problema. Ano yon? Yung immaturity daw is an eye problem. Yung wala ka nang inisip kundi sarili mo. Kaya immature. So what is empathy? Empathy is the ability to feel the other person's pain. To walk in that person's shoes, to see through their eyes. You know, for the past few months, our hearts broke for the hungry. Kaya anong ginawa natin? In, kesa matakot sa loob ng bahay? Anong ginawa natin? Dinamdam natin, dinama natin yung hirap ng iba. And so, Feast Alabang started Feed 5,000. And we were able to feed 5,000 families. Tapos sa GCQ. Tapos sa MECQ ulit sa Metro Manila. So, anong ginawa natin? We went back to feeding people. Just a few days ago, we fed 500 families. You know, the feast went to work and fed thousands of poor people. Even if we had food on our table, we felt their hunger. Kahit may nakakain ka, nararamdaman mo yung parang gutom ka. Bakit? Kasi yung iba gutom. Alam nyo, kahit alam natin, we cannot feed millions. Basta makapakain tayo ng isa sa isang araw. Gawin natin. Ito, napakagandang moto. As long as there is one hungry person out there, I can never be full. Bakit? There is no me. There is no you. There is only us. We are not all, we're not all on the same boat. Hindi lahat kasi iba yung bangka mo, iba yung bangka nila. Diba? Iba yung bangka ko. Pwedeng ah, nakayat ako. Diba? Ikaw naka pambot. Ganon, no? Yung iba naka sagwan lang. Iba-iba. But remember this, we are all in the same storm. Today, Jesus is telling you, do. Do what? Feel their pain. Serve their needs. Before I go to the next part, I want to talk about Mama Mary. Because she is a doer. You know, nung narinig niya yung announcement ng anghel sa kanya na sinabi, magdadalang Diyos ka ang 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 laman ng tiyan mo, ang tagapagligta, alam niyo ginawa ni Maria, kaagad, kaagad, nag ayos ng damit, tapos bumiyahe ng malayo, four days sa gitna ng init, apat na araw, buntis ha, bumiyahe, saan? Sa kanyang pinsan. Sino yung pinsan niya? Elizabeth. Ano gagawin niya doon? For three months, this God carrier became a doer. She cooked meals, washed dishes, naglaba, uh, inayos yung kama, para sa kanyang pinsan na buntis. Nagwalis, nagbumili ng kung ano-ano, para saan? Sa pinsan niyang buntis. Pareho lang naman sila eh. Si Mami Mary. Yan ang tawag ng anak kong Johan. Mommy Mary. Mommy Mary could have done the very opposite. Di ba? Pwede. She could have acted like a prima donna. Tapos lakad-lakad lang doon sa Nazareth at sasabihin niya sa kanila, Oy, Diyos ang laman nito. Pagsilbihan niyo ako, I am a queen. She is really a queen because she is carrying in her womb the son of the almighty God but she did not do that. My dear friend, I urge you, be like Mommy Mary and do, do something. You are a God carrier as well. So let God love through you. In Mommy Mary's lifetime, she didn't do anything big in the eyes of the world. She didn't preach to thousands. She didn't build cathedrals. She didn't lead a worldwide ministry. She just served the person in front of her. Who is in front of you now? Who is in front of you? Who has need? Sino na ang kailangan? Who is suffering? I urge you, I encourage you, my dear friend, make that suffering person the VIP of your heart and do. And you will be following Jesus. 
This is the second part of our reading today, following the words, do to others. What you want others do to you. You know, in this statement, Jesus presumed you care for yourself. Yung pinapahalagahan mo yung sarili mo. And this is normal. Unless you have a psychosis or neurosis and have subconscious self-hatred. Yung alimbawa, yung mababangga ka, na imbis na umiwas ka, kumakanta ka pa nung kanta nung MYMP. Yung, so come on and get me, get me, get me, baby come on. Yung, yung parang ganoon. No? Or yung may sasaksak sa'yo, tapos kinakanta mo pa yung kanta ni Gary B. Yung narito ang puso ko, nag-iintay ng tarak mo. Y- yung ganoon. E, hindi mo gagawin yon. Instead, you will protect yourself from harm. And loving yourself is very healthy. You know, I preached this before, but I'd like to preach it again. You cannot give what you do not have. Impossible. It's impossible. You cannot love anyone else, God or others, if you don't love yourself. But you know, I noticed so many people don't get this, that you can never be happy if you don't love yourself. Kaya maliba sa mga sinabi ko, or unang sinabi ko, here are the five greatest reasons you should love yourself. And I would like to give a hint. They're all rooted with God. Because loving yourself is God's idea. Number one, because God loves you. Dahil mahal ka ng Diyos. Now this is the most important reason. In fact, I believe that in order to love ourselves, we should first receive love. Kailangan mo muna makatanggap ng pagmamahal. And your relationship with God doesn't start by you loving Him, but by you allowing Him to love you. Friends, listen, because this is very important. Sa puso ng Diyos, you're the most valuable than all of heaven. Why? Because Jesus left all His glory. Para saan? Para makasama ka. That's why you have to to know this, and always remind yourself that God loves you. Now, the second one is this, because God made you. Alam mong Dios, He didn't make a trash. If you look at the book of Genesis, in Genesis 1.31, after He created everything, alam mo ko anong sinabi niya? All the creation, He says, very good. Therefore, if He made you, that means you are very Good. That you are amazing. That you are beautiful. That you are magnificent. And the third one is this. Because God lives in you. How can you not care for yourself? You're the temple of God according to St. Paul. Ikaw ang tahanan niya. Ikaw yung bahay niya. Yung iba nga, building pa. Bakit? Kasi mataba, ay mali, mal- malaki ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa iyo. At tingnan mo nga yung katabi mo, kung may katabi ka, mukha bang building yan, mukha bang malaki ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa kanya. That's the third one. And the fourth one is this, because God has a glorious destiny for you. Alam mo, I love, I love watching movies. Y- yung mga, alam mo, yun yung mga bida na immortal, yung hindi na mamatay yung bida. Ay, kalimbawa, si Superman. No, ilang, ilang, ilang Superman na yung pinalabas, pero lagi ako nanonood. And the latest one is si Henry Cavill. Lately, we watch kami ni, ni Jinky, yung isang magandang palabas sa Netflix, yung The Old Guard. Si, si Charlize Theron, na, hindi rin namamatay. I'm so fascinated with this kind of movies. Yung, yung immortal, yung hindi namamatay. Isang palabas lang hing, ang immortal na hindi ko pinapanood. Pero fascinated pa rin ako. Sino yan? Yung probinsyano. <laughs> ba- bakit? Kasi ngayon, nasa internet na. Buhay pa. But friends, here's the truth. You won't die. You won't die. You're going to last forever with God beside you. And ito kailangan lagi mong nire-remind yung sarili mo. That you will live forever with God. Yes. And the number five is this. Because God commands you to love yourself. In fact, if you look at the two greatest commandments that Jesus taught us, the second greatest commandment says, Love your neighbor. Pero merong requirement. And what is the requirement? As you love yourself. 
Mahal mo yung kapwa mo. Katulad na ng pagmamahal mo sa kapwa, sa sarili mo. So let me close by giving you some practical ways of doing this loving yourself. Six practical ways of loving yourself. Kanina, five. Ngayon naman, six. <laughs> five, six. <laughs> Kasi part-time agent ako. Sa hirap ng buhay ngayon, nagpa-part-time agent ako kay, kay Brother Arundo. Sa ating district builder, ha? Nangungulekta ako ng mga pautang. <laughs> na, na baka gusto nyo mag-sub-agent, ha? Pwede rin. Mag-PM lang kayo or i-type nyo lang dyan sa comment boxes ninyo. Provided yung motor at payong. Ha? Kung gusto mo mag-sub-agent. E, yun nga lang, yung sweldo, hulugan. <laughs> So, six ways of loving yourself. Number one is this. Greet yourself with affection and celebrate yourself. Friends, how do you greet yourself in the morning? Pag nasa harap ka ng salamin, ano sinasabi mo sa sarili mo? Alam mo, may, may mga kilala ako pag pagising sa umaga. Alam mo, tingin nila sa sarili nila. They, they, they hate themselves. Yung ang tingin nila sa, sa sarili nila, bobo. Yung bakit kasi mali yung mga desisyon sa buhay. Galit sila sa sarili nila. Dahil sa pagkakamali, pagkakamali nila sa nakaraan. Friends, this is my suggestion to you. Do what I do. Yung pag nagkakamali ako, alam mo sabi ko sa sarili ko, okay lang yan. Okay lang. Okay lang magkamali. May bagong araw na binibigyan ng Diyos para maitama ang aking pagkakamali. Ang importante ay yung salitang maitama. That's why you have to remind yourself always that yes, I made a mistake but I'm still totally, completely and perfectly loved by my heavenly Father. You have to affirm yourself. You have to accept yourself and be grateful for who you are. Yung buong package kung sino ka, the entire package with your strength and with your weaknesses. So that's the first one. The second way is this, which is connected to the first one. Forgive yourself. Meron akong kakilala, babae, sabi niya, Brother James, I've already asked forgiveness from God. Sabi ko, wow, that's good. That's very good. But you know, Brother James, I can't forgive myself. Alam mo, sabi ko sa kanya, Sister, pride yan. Sabi niya, bakit Brother James? Kasi parang sinasabi mo, you're holier and loving than God. You know, I've met a lot of people like her who are both judge and executioner. They punish themselves for their sins. Now friends, don't do that. Forgive yourself the way God forgives you. Yes. Sige ako, may katabi ka, tapikin mo nga sa kanya. Sabi mo sa kanya, forgive yourself. Na kung ikaw naman yung natapik, tapikin mo nga siya pabalik. Sabihin mo nga sa kanya, patawarin mo rin ako. Kasi may sasabihin ako sa iyo, istorbo ka sa pakikinig ko. So that's the second one. And here's the second way of loving yourself. You have to nourish yourself. Do you need to eat healthier? Do you need to sleep more? Do you need to rest more? Do you need to to pray more? Friends, list down all your needs and meet your needs more aggressively. Iwasan mo na yung moto ng iba na ano yung moto nila? Yung di baling tamad, di naman pagod. <laughs> Iwasan mo na yun. Kasi diba, tama ba? Pag may sakit ka, tas wala kang pera, how will, you, how will you feel loved by God? Kaya yung iba, sinasabi nila, may sakit ako, siguro pinabayaan na ako ni Lord. Hindi na niya ako love. Alam mo, sagot ko lang sa kanila, hindi ka pinabayaan ni Lord. Hindi ka pinabayaan. Kailangan mo lang itigil yung seafood. And they will tell me, Brad, wala nga akong pambili ng seafood. At hindi ako kumakain yan. Ako, sinasabi ko sa kanila, kumakain ka, kumakain ka yan. Kasi lahat na nakikita ng mata mo, pinapasok mo sa bibig mo. <laughs> seafood, di ba? So, iwasan mo na. You know, most of our sickness is born out of our own choices. So if, again, if you need to rest more, to be healthier, then do it aggressively. And number four is this. Invest in great relationship, but set 
boundaries. You know, the quality of your life is defined by the quality of your relationship. But great relationship don't just happen. Hindi yan nangyayari lang. Love yourself enough to invest time and energy into your family and friends. But learn also to protect yourself from abusive people. Kailangan pinoprotekto, pinip, pinoprotectionan mo rin yung sarili mo. If some people don't like you, nabawa yung kapitbahay mo, di, di ka gusto, then let go. Walk away. Ganyan ang ginagawa ko dito sa kapitbahay ko. Pag dito sa katabing bahay. Bakit? Kasi ang lakas magpatugtog nung, nung kantang makarena. Yung, yung gusto kong puntahan para sabihan, pero niiwasan ko na lang. Y- y- alam mo yung sinasabi ko? Yung, yung gustong gusto mong puntahan at sabihin sa kanya, ano ba, be considerate naman. Alam mo ba, napagod na ako mag, maghapon magtrabaho, tapos ang lakas pa nung tugtog mo na makarena. Please lang, pre, be considerate. Pagod na ako ng kasasayaw. <laughs> Eh, I'm just kidding. Pero yung, kung merong taong galit sa'yo, iwasan mo na. You have to build this distance from them. Pero huwag kang bibitaw. Just create a distance. Yes? And number five, keep growing and follow your God-given dreams. You have to feed yourself spiritually. You have to develop your, your craft. Huwag kang papayag na dumaan yung araw na wala kang bagong natututunan. You have to commit to grow in every area of your life. Live in your courage zone. You know, every August, I, I feel loved by God. Lagi yan pagdating ng August. Because four years ago, I took one giant step in my courage zone. We opened... Peace SM South Mall. You know, during that time, I'm I'm expecting siguro baka 500 or a little less 500 people to attend. Bakit? Kasi ang dami na nating feast. May Peace Bellevue, may AMPM pa yan, may WFA, may Bikutan pa. Kaya, ang, ang thinking ko, ay, ka, hindi na masyado marami yung darating. That's why when I was talking to to SM South Mall, ang Inaay ko talaga yung 500-seater cinema nila. And I was asking them to give that to me. Kailan nagulat ako nung pagbalik ko sa kanila? Nagulat ako. Why? Kasi the church oh, the, the 500-seater cinema was given to another church. At yung binibigay sa amin, pilit, is the 900-seater. Eh medyo, siyempre, mas mahal din yan. Kaya medyo nalungkot ako. Sabi ko, tama lang sa amin yung 500 but, you know, when we open, you know this already, mga taga SM South Mall, when we opened the feast on August 14, 2016, more than 1,000 people came. Kaya nga ang title nung picture ko, dun sa post ko during that time, God must be laughing. Natatawa ang Diyos. Why? Kasi, ito lang yung tingin ko eh. 500. Pero hindi pala. God surprised us with more than people to bless. You know, this happened when I said yes to loving His people. And I stepped into my courage zone. And God gave me a yearly reminder of His greater love for me and His children. Friends, I'm semi-old man, but I still have a few dreams I want to fulfill. And I will keep dreaming until my last days on the planet. Because I believe that if you stop dreaming, you start dying. Kaya gusto kong batiin yung uh, ating Feast SM South Mall family. A uh, happy fourth year anniversary to, to all of us. And we're going to, to, to celebrate our fourth year anniversary on September 12th. So watch out for the announcement. Okay. And here's the, the last and the final way of loving yourself. Love God and others. Friends, I want to get the biggest megaphone in the universe and preach this, this radical statement from the rooftop that selflessness is the best way to love yourself. You know, when, when we're selfless, we fulfill the, the essence of who we are. 
Alam mo ba, nung tayo nilikha ng Diyos, we are designed not to live for ourselves, but for others. Napansin mo ba? When, when are you the happiest? Kailan kayong masaya? Pag meron kang natulungan at napasaya ang iba. Tama ba? Mas masaya ka dyan kaysa dun sa bumili ka ng para sa'yo. Yung, yung mas masaya ka pag may binigyan ka. Manyari mahal mo sa buhay, binaregaluhan mo, mas masaya ka. Pag nakita mong masaya sila. Tama ba? You know, last Wednesday, extra yung saya ko. Bakit? Kasi nag-turn na ako ng 40 years old. At sinurprise ako nung, nung family ko, paggising ko nung, nung, nung Wednesday, uh, nagulat ako kasi paglabas ko nung bahay, kasi ako lagi naunang nagigising. So paglabas ko nung, nung kwarto pala, nat ng bahay, nung kwarto, dun sa salas, nakaset up na yung, yung, yung buong bahay. May mga balloons, may nakalagay happy birthday, yung ganon. So, nung madaling araw, nag, nag-decorate yung, yung mga mahal ko sa buhay. Kaya, Grabe yung, yung saya ko. Tapos, hindi lang yan. Meron pa akong special 40th birthday cake. Ha? May 40th. Huwag nyo nang pansinin yung numero. Nagkamali lang yung gumawa niyan. Ha? Tapos, ito pa. Nagulat ako kasi may mga kaibigan ako nagpadala rin ng cake. Buti na lang walang numero nakalagay kasi di ko natatanggapin ang pangalawang pagkakamali. <laughs> Tapos, nagulat na naman ako. May nagpadala rin ng pagkain. Iba-ibang pagkain. Nakakatawa. Tapos meron pang galing sa ibang bansa. No? Nakipag-coordinate dito sa isang restaurant. Tapos nagpadala ng pagkain. At hindi lang yan. May kaibigan din ako nagpadala ng balloons. Ng mga lobo. Ang saya-saya ko. Pero ang pinakamasaya, yung nangyari nung gabi. Nagkaroon ng Zoom party na ginawa ng pamilya ko at mga kaibigan ko nung gabi nung Wednesday. So we gathered together And, you know, this is the happiest. And why the happiest? Because they were honoring me on how I touched their lives in my own simple but personal way. Now, why am I sharing this to you? Para sabihin sa'yo na kung gusto mong humagbol, magregalo, tumatanggap pa ako hanggang bukas, ha? <laughs> no. One thing I've learned in the past 33 years doing God's ministry is this. That when you give love to God and neighbor, God has a way of returning it back to you. Yes. At pag tinignan mo yung buhay mo, many times you will see that when you give something, the universe, our God, gives it back to us. But friends, mind you, our one big message, Shundu, is a powerful message. But ironically, in order to accomplish that, there's a first action step we must do. At ano yun? Surrender to God's love. We need to surrender to the love of God for us. Why? Because the biggest reason not to do, not to love others, is fear. And all selfishness comes from fear. You know, when I see selfishness in me, I smell fear. I hear my mind saying, Why think of others? How about me? I'm afraid my needs won't be met. That's why today, I invite you, surrender to God's love. Because only perfect love can conquer all our fears. Let us pray. Can you bow down your heads? Close your eyes. Allow me to pray for you today. Father in heaven, we thank you for your words today. We thank you for reminding us of who we are in you, that we are beloved. And you have called us to love others as well. But I know by my own strength, by my own power, I cannot love other people, some people in my life, especially those people I find hard, I find it hard to love. That's why today I come before you and I pray that you fill me with your love, that you overflow my heart with your love, so that that love 
will be poured out to every people that you will bring into my life. And today, I surrender my fears to you. I surrender my selfishness to you. And I ask you to make me a channel of your love for the people around me. And I pray this. I claim this in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus' name above